Hey guys, today I'm going to run functions. First, in the beginning of the functions, type it as def. After that, give your, give your function a name. I am giving my function name as like this. And after that, Do this and after that okay the function is gonna tell is gonna take an input as num is equal to integer and in put and tell enter a num number now you guys see it's telling us to enter the number and after that we should tell it for in range actually the scotch printed table one two Guys, listen. If it, if it's eleven, that means it will print to ten. If it's one, it will print from one. Starting will be as the same, but the ending should be as eleven. Okay. Now we should try to print. Print num num means this variable. Wait, we done a mistake. We should add a variable here. You can name your variable in this place. Just type anything you want here. And after that, num and x. And type it as count. Count means this variable. What see in this place mid in the middle of fallen in that variable should come here and count. And what you should do is next do this and tell it as num multiplied by count okay this will let's see what this will do before that let's tell it dg okay now let's try oh if i got this Guys, I had I had this forgot. You should not forgot this. Let's type it as twelve. See, we printed to twelve. It printed ten times. Okay. Okay, guys. I don't know. And remember this, okay? You can change this function like anything you want in only in this place. But remember, after quorum, leave this so that, it is, so that your function will work. If it's like this, that means the function. You are outside the function. That means this is the end of the function. Okay? This is the end of the function. Remember. If you do this, that means you ended the function. Understood? Okay. You create your own function. Cool.
who are youtubers watching my videos and they are learning and they are also making python programming videos in youtube kindly you can show this also to your viewers